we've got uh, two and a half million people growing uh, potatoes in East Africa. And that means it's become a very critical part of the food security. The potatoes still have poor yields because they are only averaging seven to eight tons per hectare, which is well below the potential recognized internationally of about 30 tons per hectare. One of the problems facing these farmers has been the lack of access to quality certified seed. Quality certified seed means a seed that has gone through the system and in partnership with Kenya Plant Health Inspection Services are now able to be sold as disease-free material to make sure the farmers get optimum yields, avoid diseased crops and even minimize crop failure. This is the story of an established Kenyan farm which took on the task of producing quality potato seed for smallholder farmers. The business um, has grown from very small beginnings to about 2,000 tonnes of production a year, capable of supplying more than 20,000 farmers, and probably many more, considering that farmers often share some of the next generation seed with their um, smallholder neighbours. This is certainly now the largest local potato seed producer in East Africa. In brief, Kisima started with 8 hectares, but now we are doing 100 hectares a season. Throughout this time, we have been working with the Sagenta Foundation in accessing finance, enabling us on the marketing of, this, of the seed, evaluation of different varieties that we are doing. It's worth remembering that this value chain took nearly seven years to become profitable. Um, the latter half of this period was largely managed by the seed company itself, raising its own capital investment to develop the necessary infrastructure you know, to achieve consistent quality and year-round supply. With all the barriers that Cosima Farm faced as it took on potato seed, it was really important um, for Cosima to have access to patient capital and targeted technical assistance. You know, building partnerships with public sector breeders and government seed regulators was equally important. You know, maybe the most satisfying part of this is that once the business became profitable, the Syngenta Foundation uh, was able to walk away, you know, confident that this was a sustainable business. Um, we often say that our partner's success is our success. Initially, we started, uh, we started, we had no, no mechanization. Much of labor was manual and it was, it was very difficult to do seed potatoes. But now, at least we have the cold store, we have the harvester, we've got the sorting, we have the bagging machine, and the handling now is, 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 is easier. We, we employ about 70 people harvesting, hand picking, sorting, so it creates, a, it creates employment for, for the local community. We have lot of our local varieties, uh, we've got the Dutch varieties, where we collaborated with HZPC on producing their varieties. We have not restricted anybody accessing our seed. So our seed are accessible by everybody, from one bag to 1,000 bags. Onya ndi arisi okaria ndi kwambelia kwa anda iko sivi gora kivima ivi ntaeda tie mono ingorete kinyangombe na iko sivi na ivi mbiga ko enda kwa anda egi tare onde bona ta masiara no twara nda anda bi vieto na biu ita siara mu siarire yo na ndi ivi nkenetie na mbiga uga no byo nkenderea na byo kwa anda mbidera nkenete mono ko vianda no ntimbo na mbonete ote thie bo nene Nanjo <laughs> Rafkenkene <laughs>
So, you know, looking to the future, you know, we think this model of adding new products like C to an existing agribusiness is a powerful way to achieve scale. You know, part of our theory of change, which we call the tipping point, is that once one business reaches profitability, there's every reason to suppose that others will follow. You know, for example, we now see at least four other companies, all of whom visited and shared ideas with Cosima, are investing to replicate this model elsewhere in Kenya. The hardest part then is to demonstrate the viability of the value chain. So based on this model of uh, targeted technical assistance and patient capital, the Syngenta Foundation and other partners launched a new initiative for seed companies in Africa called Seeds for Impact. The hope is that once these seed companies are profitable, they'll be able to attract further support from the wider investment community and play our part in transforming the seed sector in Africa. Thank mm -hmm. you.